My name is Allison. I'm the Programs Outreach and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Today I am going to show you how to make a sensory bag, which was part of our fall stay and play activity bag that we passed out at our stay and play program on Friday, October 8th. This is a really fun thing that you can make at home very easily. All you need is a Ziploc bag and some paint. If you have a Ziploc bag that doesn't close, like the one that I have, you just need some tape as well to make sure it's secure. So in order to make our sensory bags, you are going to open up your Ziploc bag and squeeze in some paint. So I have four different colors of paint here for fall colors, and you'll just do kind of a squeeze or two of each color. You can use whatever colors that you want, keeping in mind, of course, that the more colors you use as you mess around with your sensory bag, it's going to start to get a little bit muddy. Kind of looks like ketchup and mustard right now. <laughs> this is a fun thing to do with your little one squeezing in the paint. Of course, you want to make sure that you're doing it on a surface that is not going to get messed up if you get paint on it. I'm being a little less careful because I'm doing it myself and don't have a little one, but if I was doing it with a little one, I would probably put newspaper or some other protective covering on top of my surface. I'm gonna do a little bit more yellow in here. So once you have your colors in, you are going to squeeze out as much air as you can from your bag and zip it up, and then you can start mushing your colors around. It still looks pretty pretty fall-like there. And a great activity that you can do with your little one and the purpose of why we put this into the stay and play bag was to help with writing skills. So you have this great surface that you can write letters into. If you can see that, I've got an A inside of it. And then once you're done, you just mush the paint around some more and you get a clear surface back. So you can try this with your little one. You can ask them, hey, can you write the first letter of your name for me? And mine's A for Allison, so I would write an A in. Or you can say, how old are you? Can you write the number down? And let's say they're four, they'd write a four in. So it's a really great way to practice writing different letters and numbers and a very cool sensory bag. It feels really cool when you're pushing down on it. And it looks cool for fall. You can see that it's starting to get a little bit brown here in the middle, but that's okay. It'll work just the same no matter what color it is. And that's how you create a very simple sensory bag using fall colors. We hope that you enjoyed this activity and we hope to see you at one of our future stay and play programs in person. As a reminder, stay and play programs are happening every Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Seaside Branch Library through November 12th, 2021. We hope to see you there. Bye-bye everyone.